hello lovely people welcome back to my channel i hope you are well welcome back to another nervous guide if you don't know what one of those is i will explain in two seconds but today we are doing the nervous guide to pride and prejudice sort of so if you want to know all about this show stick around and we'll get into it in two whole seconds and welcome back to this channel if you have been here before if you're not and this is your first time welcome this is a nervous guide to pride and prejudice sort of if you've never been here before let's give you the quick spiel for every show that i do i like to do two separate videos first one is this one the nervous guide the nervous guide is something i started towards the mid of this year basically um, when I see a show and you get no warning of what's coming and if you are like me you can be easily spooked or not I'm not a fan of loud noises or if you are neuro neurodivergent in any way it's always helpful I feel to have some kind of warning or preparation to things that might happen whether they be content or sensory related and this video I talk about my experience seeing a show where I sat views and any content warnings and also sensory warnings that is this video the next video will be the review as always I put it in inverted commas because I am in no way an expert I basically just spend all the money that I earn by doing my job <laughs> in going and seeing theatre it's the way I like to live I don't do anything else this is how I enjoy myself and I also enjoy talking about it for the majority I go and see shows alone or with a friend or family member and it's always nice to talk about shows once you are done and when you go solo especially you don't get that experience and so I come back and I sit in front of a camera and I do this and that is what the second video is and there we are little bit more rambly but we're gonna go for it so today we're gonna talk about Pride and Prejudice sort of as you can see from the bottom I saw it at the Grand Theatre so things that I normally talk about in this video include like my experience being at the theatre if there was any issues in relation to the theatre whether it be toilets or accessibility etc um, as I think I said recently because I've spent quite a lot of time at the Grand recently um, if I did that every time I went to the Grand it would be a very long video because it'd be repeated quite a lot. Uh, this time for view we sat in the stalls. Um, similar space to where we've been recently for different shows but slightly further forwards because I decided to push the boat out and have both me and my mum who came with me to both be able to see the, sh the show without a pillar in the fr in front of my face. If you don't know that story, go and watch The Nervous Guide to uh, An Officer and a Gentleman, the musical, because we sat in similar places, just a few rows further back, and there was a, a whole thing. I knew it was a restricted view seat, but price-wise for that show, it was different to this show. This was very like reasonably priced. I thank the theatre ticket gods for that. For this show, we sat in L31 and L32 in stalls. Our view looked kind of like this. Um, really, really decent view. One thing I did forget until I was in the auditorium is that about five minutes to three-ish minutes before the show starts, the actresses who are in the show come into the auditorium in our venue in fact um at the walls grand they went to stalls and dress circle level um they are under the idea that when they start the show they are starting the show as servants they are staff of a large house telling the or retelling if you will the story of pride and prejudice and 
to make that a point if you will they come into the auditorium and they are cleaning a couple of people got talked to by the actresses in character they didn't come as far back as us but it is something to be aware of if you are uncertain or disliking of people coming up to you that you don't know which i'm not gonna lie friday evening after i've done a full week of work i don't know if i would have been but that is luckily not the case because i didn't i didn't have to <sighs> thank goodness before we get into the warnings i also have information on running time and age guidance so according to the grand the running time of this show was two hours 35 minutes including a 20 minute interval um that was pretty close to exact which i am 100 percent happy with um although it felt like there was no time by the time act one had finished you felt like you'd blinked and missed it it's such a good show also age guidance is 12 plus that is quite very much down to the language used in this show it's not effing and jeffing any minute every like every word every other word um there is quite a few swear words they are quite strong ones um but they are generally used in a humorous way um but it is quite strong language so it is something to be aware of in relation to content and sensory warnings obviously content for this i don't really have much to speak on if you've ever seen or ever read or ever experienced any other way pride and prejudice you kind of know the story going in and the story for the most part is a pretty easy relaxing not to worry about story so content warning wise we are fine and actually saying that sensory warning wise is also rather tame i only have three things to discuss firstly in act one um just as jane or the person playing jane just heads off to netherfield uh they hop on a horse um it is a full life-size statuesque horse that gets pushed onto the stage once she is on top of the stage on top of the stage once she is on top of the horse um there is a a thunder sound and a lightning flash to indicate that as she has left the home of her and her family and she's traveling to netherfield she gets caught in a storm it's not too loud um, but it is something to be aware of the more loud problem or the other problem or the other thing to be wary of in act one is actually towards the end of act one in which uh there is a moment where a different character kitty brings a gun onto the stage a prop gun obviously it's not that kind of show um she brings it onto the stage from the wings she kind of moves it around and then there is four separate gun shots they're not massively loud i did cover my ears for the first one even though i knew kind of knew they were coming um but after the first one i removed and, and it wasn't actually too loud but there are four separate ones pretty much after each other so it goes bang 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 in about that time frame um and then she fires no more if you will and the gun is still visible to the end of act one she uh kind of hides it behind her because after that bit happens i think there's a bell to indicate that them as servants need to be back as servants um and so they're like i think the masters of the house need to have a drink and why don't you and that is how the end of act one happens and she the character who is playing kitty walks off with the gun and that is act one done act two is also relatively chill uh most for the most part there is no 
problems. The only thing, again, to be aware of is another one of those thunder slash lightning moments. Um, the arrival of Lady Catherine de Burr, um, you kind of expect her appearance just before the appearance happens. The whole stage goes into black. It's a blackout. There is a thunder sound. The lights come back on. Lady Catherine de Burr is there in full hat and all. Um, and then as she finishes what she needs to say and she's getting ready to go off, there is another thunder sound. The lights go out again. It's a second blackout. The lights come back on. She has disappeared. Um, and that is pretty much that. Like I say, it's pretty tame, but then that was quite a lot to go through. There is only three warnings, and the main one I found was the visibility of the gun and the gun shooting. But as I always say in these videos, it's this is just me telling you what I experience every person is different so if you've seen the show and you feel like I've missed something when you saw it you were affected or you had a, something with a different moment then feel free to write them in the comments it's always helpful and gives a larger picture if there's more of us talking about it in the comments but there we are I'm going to leave this video here and go and grab a drink because I've got a cold and my throat hurts so all that's left to say for this video is this. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you come back next time for the review video or just for more theatre and nervous people chat. Um, but all that's left to say is the usual and that is I love you very much. I love you lots and I hope you come back. Um, and finally, so long, farewell, a feed is in. Goodbye. Bye.